Okay, um, let's go on to part three here. We'll load up uh, Avira. And what it's going to do is it's going to load Avira in our B drive. You can see it's extracting Avira right now. And you saw this Avira, it was updated, so it's got the latest uh, definitions, even though it probably says it's never been updated, but it, it has. I'm going to go ahead and configure my on-demand scanner. I'm going to go ahead and quarantine files. Test my little sound thing. Uh, archives, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and scan them. And heretics, we'll turn on high. Under general, we'll turn on all threat categories. And go back to my scanner. We're not going to scan memory, there's no need to. Um, I don't need to search for rootkits before scan because they're right out in the open. They're not hidden um, because we are in a bootable environment. The rootkit is basically just a file. It could be a text file for all we care at this point. Click OK. And um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do a scan. So I'm going to go ahead and let that scan and come back and see the results. Be right back. Okay, Vera found uh, 71 more items. And I'll go ahead and end the scan. And I'll go ahead and exit. Now it's uh, time to clear our RAM drive again. Go ahead and clear it one more time. All right. So now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to download Dr. Webb's Cure It. Um, you, you can sometimes install, uh, not even install uh, programs, uh, but some programs just run straight off the, that B disk without a problem. You're not going to really install something like a Windows installer. I haven't tried to install Malwarebytes yet. That's an idea. I'm sure there's a Malwarebytes plugin for the Ultimate Boot CD as well. Uh, if I go to uh, Google, because I don't know their exact address, and we type in Dr. Webb, Curate, and... Again, yeah, everything kind of runs a little bit slower because it's got to load some things differently. If I download now, and I think here it's kind of updated, uh, I guess every day. I'm not sure. So it's attempting to contact their FTP server. It's taking a little while here. Hang on a second. I'm going to pause the video and get this down. Okay, Curate is actually starting to download now. And uh, I'll download it to... Oh, my RAM disk is fine. So you could include this uh, launch.exe 
in your extra files whenever you boot whenever you build your bootable anti malware disk um, you wouldn't have to download it like I'm doing here I think something's up with their FTP server so it's coming down real slow um, so I'm gonna see if I can find another download site for Curit. so hang on okay um, Dr. Webb's Curit downloaded from Major Geeks it was some uh, mirror that I used so so I'm going to go ahead and try to launch uh, Cure It. If I can just close that browser. Thank you. So that was an 11 meg download. Most of the programs I've tested without uh, that, that do not use a Windows installer seem to install um, OK. If they're big, forget about it. They won't fit inside my RAM disk. And I know there's a way I can get increase my RAM disk, but like I said, I just haven't really needed to. So we hit run. We're still waiting for it to execute. And um, looks like it's going kind of slow, so I guess I'll pause it. Hang on. Okay, cure it started. I guess I didn't actually run it or something because it didn't open it first. So it's going to go ahead and do one of its default scans, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and stop that. If I can. Well, it appears to be stalled, so I'm actually going to start another video here because we still have some more stuff to do. Be right back.